How does free will work with God's sovereignty, and how can we feel as if we have free will and at the same time be predestined? Okay, great question, great question. So let me suggest to you that I wish we had started with better language because I don't think the issue is really free will. I think that's, um, that's a distortion because did you will to be born? No, you were born. So the most important thing about you, you didn't have any will in at all. Um, you didn't will to be born. Were you born here in Franklin County? Um, Indiana. Well, well, let's see. Did you will to be a Hoosier? <laughs> at least for a, for a short amount of time. Uh, <laughs> but so my point is that, that in many ways, the biggest issues related to our life, even when we're born, to whom we're born, where we're born, what language we speak, all kinds of things, they have nothing to do with our will whatsoever. What is real is agency. And that's a philosophical term, but it might be helpful. So we, are, we have agency. We have real agency. And in that sense, we have something we could call free will. You know, you can choose vanilla ice cream or you can choose pistachio ice cream. Don't advise it. You could. Uh, you know, you could. In other words, we're making choices all the time, right? And you have, you have the experience of making choices, right? But, you know, your will is still not as free as you might think it is. Because you're not able to, choice, to choose a non-imaginable a non ice cream flavor. I'm sure someone's going to come up with a new one next week. Well, the reason you can't choose it now is because it's not there. But that's, that's not really a conflict between your free will and something. It's just an obvious fact. Agency is what's most important. We have the experience of making choices, and they're real, right? We make real choices. Sometimes we make real choices about things that our choice doesn't matter much in. You know, you can kind of choose to pay your taxes or not. Well, you probably don't have to worry about that too much right now. But if you do decide not to pay your taxes, somebody's going to come talk to you about that. Yeah, so in other words, there, there's just, there, there, there are issues in which agency just doesn't work all that well. But I know what you're asking. I'm not meaning to dodge the question. The Bible says that God is absolutely sovereign. And by the way, sovereign is absolute or it's not sovereign. You, you can't be a little bit sovereign. If you're sovereign, you're sovereign over everything. In fact, God's so sovereign, he can't resign his sovereignty. And so God can't even say, you know, I'm going to be sovereign everywhere. But right there, I'm just going to say, okay, I'm not going to be sovereign there. Because he sovereignly determined that. And so even now, he's sovereignly being sovereign. Right there where he said he wasn't sovereign. And so sovereignly speaking, he's still sovereign. Okay? And so yet... That extends not only to salvation, but to every area of our life, right? And it's tied to God's omniscience. Now, he's not omniscient, therefore he wills. He's, he wills, therefore he's omniscient. So, you know, if you do go in the ice cream parlor and you choose a scoop of pistachio and a scoop of chocolate and a scoop of something, that's not going to surprise God because he knows all things throughout all of time from eternity before there was time to eternity after there's time. And so we're not surprised by anything. But, you know, you really did make that choice. And sometimes it's a hard choice. And if they say you can only have two scoops, well, then it gets harder because you've got to decide which one you're not going to have. And so your agency is real, but your agency is already really limited by the reality of, of what's there. But it's still real. And, and so, for instance, if someone's deciding whether to shoplift or not, that's agency right? They're, and they're responsible for the decision they make. We're responsible if we, just, if we tell the truth or if we lie, we're responsible. In salvation, we are told that before the foundations of the earth, God chose those who in Christ would be redeemed and would reign with him forever throughout all eternity. So God's not surprised. But it's not just that. God actually created the cosmos and set into order everything that would bring about exactly what he determined before the world was created would be its end. And that includes not only what will happen to the Grand Canyon, it means the, your eternal destiny and mine. And the Bible speaks to this not only as God's foreordination, but as his election. That's actually the word. And so God chooses um, for the ends of his own glory. But at the same time, we're told that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. We're given the command to believe. We're told that, that salvation comes to those who call upon the name of the Lord and who believe that the sign that one is saved 
is that one comes to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, is, is convicted of sins, repents of sin. So all that to say, the Bible says yes to divine sovereignty, first thing. God says yes to human agency, second thing. And the Bible says the human agency can only be understood in light of divine sovereignty. God wills to be so sovereign that he will make those whom he calls desire Christ. Thank you. And I hope that helps. Yeah, it does. I hope that helps. The, the safest thing that I, I can think of is, uh, you know, Charles Spurgeon said that if you look at uh, it, uh, the, the out, outer gates of heaven, it's going to say, whosoever will may come. And he said, when you get inside and the gates close, it says chosen from the foundations of the earth. They're the same people. Now, God is also omniscient as well as perfectly sovereign, and that means only he knows how this works. We just know that it works as he tells us it works. And so our job is to tell as many people as we can about the gospel and know that in the end, all in Christ will be chosen before the foundation of the earth. And you know, the safest thing about that, I'll just say to you, Ruby, is that if I didn't do it, I can't lose it. Thank you.